In this lecture, we'll discuss about sentiment analysis. Sentiment uh, is normally assigned to a product or an organization or that sort of any named entities. Sentiment is usually uh, discussed as an attitude of a person or attitude of a human being. So for example, uh, let's see uh, this is positive or negative movie review. Sentiment can be positive or negative or it can be neutral as well. Or it can be uh, in a high level, uh, you can say that it, it is uh, divided into two classes, a positive sentiment or negative sentiment. In a low level, you can say it can be uh, in a range of values or in a scale of values, etc. For example, uh, let's see uh, this movie reviews, unbelievably disappointing. It's a negative sentiment review full of uh, zany characters and richly applied satire so that's a positive sentiment the greatest uh, so that's a positive sentiment it was pathetic so there is something uh, which is uh, uh, from this text which we can uh, identify whether it is a positive or negative sentiment which is assigned to this uh, statement so uh, that has got uh, very important uh, relevance in case of many applications in natural language processing so uh, it's not only uh, related to uh, this sort of applications uh, let's say uh, you are searching for a product in a shopping site then uh, there you can see uh, this sort of uh, ratings the value for money is 4.3 easy to use is this print quality is uh, this much then uh, easy to install so this sort of uh, um, rating can be obtained. This rating is actually taken from the reviews uh, that people have entered into this uh, shopping site. So if somebody is uh, giving a uh, review that the uh, the system was very easy to install. The uh, I have installed the system without any uh, by without any effort, something like that. Then that will be a positive sentiment, a positive score assigned to this easy to install category. Easy uh, the print quality. Uh, if somebody is giving a comment that the print quality is very uh, very bad or it it is not that what I have expected, something like that, then. Uh, a negative sentiment will be assigned to this. So assigning the positive and negative sentiments like this, you can actually construct this, uh, what you known as uh, this matrix. So this is uh, a rating. Or uh, so uh, sentiment analysis has got a lot of advantages in uh, different fields like in case of a movie uh, that is the reviews or in case of a product uh, like this so in many a places sentiment analysis can be used sentiment analysis has uh, in literature you can see many names for sentiment analysis it can be op opinion extraction it can be opinion mining sentiment mining subjectivity analysis etc so each of these terms uh, means the same so why we require sentiment analysis is for a movie is this is this uh, review positive or negative for uh, pro for a product what do people uh, think about the new iPhone so uh, for, uh, for a new I iPhone uh, you can collect all the reviews or all the comments from the different people and you can try uh, sentiment analysis on that then you can actually identify what uh, people think about this new product it can be for obtaining a public sentiment uh, how is consumer confidence on particular thing uh, in politics what do people uh, think about this particular character uh, candidate then it can be used for prediction also uh, for uh, let's say you have collected all the facebook posts of uh, people and you can actually try to predict the election outcome or market trends uh, for uh, another uh, budget all all those uh, prediction so sentiment analysis can be used for is useful in many places like this uh, and usually for uh, products uh, then uh, to obtain public sentiments uh, to predict something etc
a famous uh, psychologist shearer uh, shearer has uh, defined the affective states like this affective states are emotion mood interpersonal stances attitudes and personal traits and he has given uh, uh definition for this also emotion is brief organically synchronized evaluation of a major event and these are the keywords here given angry sad joyful etc mood is uh, diffuse non caused low intensity and so on that is the definition given by shear interpersonal uh, means uh, it's related to another person see these are the keywords friendly uh, distant warm supportive now uh, in case of uh, sentiment this is the uh, most relevant uh, typology uh, attitudes is uh, something which represents uh, your uh, sentiment so attitude may be liking loving hating valuing this so the, the definition for uh, attitudes uh, shearer gives is enduring affectively colored beliefs dispositions toward objects or persons so so based on uh, the dispositions the colored beliefs uh, etc towards objects or persons you are uh, trying to express it uh in the form of some sentence so that is uh, that is what you mean by sentiment it can be positive uh, negative neutral etc so you can uh, like a product you can uh, hate a product you can value a product and so on so that's the thing which is uh, mainly uh, identifying a person's uh, a, a sentiment a person's uh, Uh, from where the sentiment is coming that is from the attitude of a person so sentiment is nothing but attitude so sentiment analysis is nothing but the detection of attitudes sentiment analysis is nothing but the at detection of attitude attitude of a person or attitude of something so this is the definition uh, of uh, uh, attitudes uh, by shearer sentiment uh, can be uh, the attitude of a person is uh, can be uh, defined by four terms like this the holder or the source of attitude the source of attitude the target of attitude the aspect or the target of attitude and the type of attitude type of attitude as i have told uh, in the beginning that is it can be positive negative or neutral etc or it can be a form of a set of uh, types also like love uh, hate desire etc this can be this, this type uh, this a uh, set of types also it can be in a scale 1 2 3 4 5 that sort of a scale also the type of attitude uh, but this is the simplest uh, like uh, positive or negative so uh, uh, two class sort of problem so that is the type of attitude another is the attitude text itself the text containing the attitude the sentence or an entire document or it can be a review that is written by a person so sentiment analysis is detection of this detection of this attitude that is who is giving the uh, sentiment who is giving this uh, having this attitude and about the target of the attitude the type it is a positive or negative and the text which contains that attitude Uh, it can be the entire document or the sentence you can extract that sentence cor corresponding sentence from the document also so that is what you mean by uh, sentiment analysis in the simple sense in a uh, the simple task in sentiment analysis is uh, this as i have told it is is this attitude of uh, is the attitude of this text is positive or negative is the sentiment uh, in this text given as positive or negative you have uh, given a review of the movie with the review given by this person is positive review or a negative review so usually in uh, social media and all people write uh, review about the movie he has watched or a product he has used so that can be classified as a positive or a negative like he has liked that then it is a positive it's very uh, it's not at all good something like that if he comments then he can say it's a negative so So that's a simple uh, sort of uh, sentiment analysis. A more complex means you can rank the attitude 
in a scale that is from 1 to 5 rank the attitude that is uh, it is a multi class sort of problem and a more advanced sentiment anal analysis task is uh, detect the target source and the complex attitude type also you want to find out the different com uh, attitude types then target source etc everything you want to analyze and uh, identify from the uh, given text that is me that is the advanced uh, sort of uh, sentiment analysis task so let's look at a uh, sentiment analysis a baseline algorithm The first step in this algorithm is tokenization. Given uh, the text, you have to tokenize the text into different words or convert the text into tokens. Then uh, you extract the features. Once you extract the features, then you can classify using uh, any different classifiers like uh, any supervised classifiers like Navebase, Maxent, or SVM, etc. Uh, let's see in our implementation uh, we'll use new base algorithm so that uh, it's very easy to implement new base algorithm or uh, we'll see the implementation uh, using that so feature extraction means uh, given uh, you are you are uh, you are given with a uh, sentence and in that sentence you are given with whether it is a positive or negative sentence so that was let's say that was your uh, training set contains then you divide that sentence into uh, in this case uh, tokens means words each words uh, so word by word will divide then we'll feature uh, will extract some of the features features in the sense what sort of uh, things in this sentence has made this sentence into a positive sentence or what sort of things made this sentence into a negative so that sort of features will be extracted and using that features you can build a classifier so that classifier can be used for future prediction so it's a very simple algorithm tokenize feature extract and classification some other uh, issues with sentiment analysis is uh, the tokenization issues itself tokenization issues uh, are uh, usually uh, dealt by using uh, pre-processing given a sentiment text or any text before tokenization we'll do some pre-processing for example if it contains some html and xml markup uh, sort of things if you have uh, downloaded the reviews from a uh, html page then it will be having some html tags in that is right or uh, if you have uh, used uh, twitter uh, tweets as your uh, sentiment analysis uh, analysis uh, data set then there will be uh, names hashtags then uh, capitalization phone numbers emoticons emoticons also uh, gives you a best uh, way to find out uh, the sentiment of that um, so we use, uh, using that emoticon itself you will be able to say whether that is a positive sentence or negative sentence and so on so uh, before tokenization uh, you should go for a pre-processing stage so that uh, you should address uh, these uh, tokenization issues Extracting features for sentiment analysis is uh, you uh, you should know how to handle negation. For example, I didn't like this movie. Uh, I really like this movie. Consider these two sentences. It should not be uh, by using this uh, sentence like this movie. Uh, here also you have like this movie. So these two should not be entered into the same category because uh, the first two, uh, first and second sentence are entirely different. So you should be able to, uh, you should have uh, a method by which uh, in, in the extracting features you should ha have a method for handling the negation. Which words to use? Uh, only adjectives or uh, all words. All words turns out to be better but that will be slow. So uh, you are, uh, while fe extracting features you can uh, have adjectives or you can have all words, consider all words but uh, that will be slow compared to only adjectives negation can be easily uh, tackled by using uh, this method that is add a note to every word between the first negation and the next punctuation so for example didn't like the movie but I so after didn't you apply note to all the uh, 
this uh, all the words that is not like not the not movie and so on so by using that uh, you train your model then you will be able to very easily uh, tackle the negation so in our implementation uh, let's use navebase so just a reminder towards the navebase algorithm navebase is uh, this is p of uh, cj cj is the prior uh, prior probability uh, into probability of wi given cj for all uh, positions for all i so you take that i uh, that cj which maximizes this product so you will be assigning uh, this particular to that category that's it to that class so you take that cj the so that uh, it gives you the maximum probability for p of cj into pi p of wi given cj and p of w bar c is wi given cj is calculated as count of wc plus 1 divided by count of c plus number of total uh, size that is v so this is uh, just a reminder of uh, naive base algorithm now let's look at uh, the implementation of uh, sentiment analysis let's open our uh, python notebook and see so this is a simple example uh, for uh, sentiment analysis i have uh, in imported the required uh, packages that is numpy pandas then from sklearn dot model selection i have imported uh, train test split and my data is stored in uh, google drive so i have mounted google drive also imported the path from nltk we require uh, we uh, we require nltk here natural language toolkit is the nltk is natural language toolkit uh, you have uh, different uh, methods in uh, nltk that is uh, you have uh, classifiers you have uh, nltk uh, you have uh, different uh, stop words there uh, to use uh, you have uh, different uh, libraries also in nltk and data sets as well so nltk dot corpus import stop words you, you download all the sort stop words then uh, this is for just viewing world word cloud word cloud is for uh, just viewing the and we have uh, used matplotlib as well from nltk.classify import sklearn classifier so my uh, data is available in uh, sentiment.csv in uh, google drive collab notebooks data open this using uh, pandas it's a csv file so pd.read uh, csv now we can see that uh, the data is of this form this is the zeroth column uh, zero two columns are there it is a statement or sentence and its sentiment sentence and its sentiment and so on so this data has got uh, so many columns uh, i have selected only two columns here text and sentiment that's it so other columns i have removed by just specifying that data equal to data of only these two columns so it has got 13871 uh, statements into two columns means the first column is the text and second column is the sentiment now we can use the train and test train test split into Point one. Point one means uh, we are going to split 90 percentage uh, to split as 90 percentage for training and 10 percentage for testing. Out of this data, we are splitting in the form 90 to 90 percentage and 10, 10 percentage. Now, from the training set, uh, we have removed all the neutral statements. So, train equal to train. Uh, sentiment is equal to neutral we have removed all the neutral statements we would like to implement a uh, binary sort of classifier that is we have only which have only which is having only positive and negative sentiment so all the neutral are removed now our uh, train positive is with only positive train negative is only train negative 
so out of that train positive is having some text train positive is so train positive next will be having only the text which is there in the which is having a positive sentiment this will be having only a negative sentiment you can view this with the help of word cloud word cloud is nothing but uh, a uh, arrangement of words in uh, in uh, multiple sentences so that uh, if um, uh, the most frequently appeared word will be larger and the less number of the word which is appearing less number of times in the document will be smaller so here uh, I have uh, removed all the stop words and all the words which starts with at the rate hash uh, so that is all we clean all that and we uh, use only the required word we can uh, word cloud equal to word cloud stop words is stop words so stop words is removed and this is background so word cloud uh, draw train positive white white means uh, why in white color we have represented all positive value so let's say last night was there in many uh, many sentences or many tweets fox was there in many sentences then uh, trump was there in many po all these are related to positive sentences so this uh, this was there in many sentences and you can say that uh, trump was there in many negative sentences as well fox new was also there in many sentences last night was there in many many negative sentences as well so it is it represents uh, there are there are the uh, the frequency of the words in that uh, total word, total document so this is uh, the an example for word cloud now let's uh, try the classification that is uh, we'll assign positive to po positive and negative to negative and we'll go for uh, training and classification so we'll remove all the uh, words which starts with at the rate hash and words not equal to RT and stop words words without stop words everything is uh, cleaned and then uh, we have taken each of this uh, text so at the end of this each of the states will be like this uh, it will not be having any at the rate hash etc but it will be having all the other words other words and uh, you will be having this uh, what you called the sentiment also so this is a simple tweet by removing all the stop words and all the uh, common uh, sort of words and all the uh, at the rate hash sort of words etc so if a word starts with at the rate then that will be removed so because the, that does not represent anything or that that is not going to give you any information about your uh, the sentiment of the sentiment of that particular sentence so a sentence and its sentiment a sentence and another sentiment uh, sentiment etc will be there in the uh, here in this uh, in this tweets so tweets dot append words without stop words so row sentiment and the sentiment will be assigned so this is the value that is obtained after this step that is uh, we'll start uh, tweets as, as an empty list and f to this we'll append each of these tweets with its sentiment corresponding sentiment now uh, we'll uh, get all words in the tweets we have written uh, three functions here get words in tweets get word features and extract features so uh, with that uh, we can say uh, here for example nltk dot frequency distribution so the most number of times if a particular word is coming in a positive sentence 
then you can say that has some uh, meaning or that has some relationship with uh, positivity of a sentence that sort of an information uh, that sort of an information is gathered so features are extracted this represents the features first we'll uh, obtain all the words then word features word features is here we have uh, we are using only one word feature that is the frequency of the words and by using that word features we will construct the uh, features of the uh, each of the text each of the sentence so w features means uh, this is the features the, this may be again uh, related to the sentence which we have seen previously but <coughs> sorry word cloud which we have seen previously but in that case uh, the stop words were there but uh, here uh, the stop words have been uh, removed now uh, we'll say which is your uh, training set so NLTK dot classify apply features extract features so we'll call this extract features if this function is called it will return the features and the input to that is tweets then classifier is built classifier is equal to NLTK dot navbase classifier dot train then this training set is given so training set is equal to you obtain uh, how you get the training set you will be getting the training set is nothing but the features what is obtained from this the, the that is the return of this function so it has go uh, it will be having uh, the return in the sense features are this contains so features this contains the word word in document words etc that is document in words is the set of all the documents uh, uh, the set of all the document in the sense uh, the entire uh, the entire set of tweets so uh, the training set is given to the navy base classifier navy base classifier will uh, learn out of it and use that classifier to classify your uh, test set so for test set dot negative you classify for test dot uh, test positive that is uh, you have divided test test into test positive and uh, test negative so you classify both into test negative and text positive test positive and you can see how many uh, actual positive are con uh, classified as positive and how many actual negative as classified as negative uh, you can see the difference here out of 862 uh, 818 have been uh, classified as negative out of 220 positive only 89 have been classified as positive so uh, in the case of positive uh, tweets uh, there is a problem in our our data set maybe our data set or maybe in our uh, uh, extraction of features so that was a simple implementation of uh, sentiment analysis so sentiment analysis is identification of the sentiment of a sentence that is the meaning is that uh, you would like to identify the holder of the sentiment or the holder of the attitude then or the source of the attitude the target of the attitude the type type may be in the simple sense it may be uh, positive or negative in a more advanced it may be in, in a scale one to five so the type of the attitude and then the actual attitude text so uh, that's about sentiment analysis thank you